Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, I want to talk about HSE exams. And uh, HSE stands for High School Equivalency Exams. So this is what we're going to be talking about. And probably the number one thing that uh, stops students from getting their high school equivalency is the math section. At least that's been my experience. And I believe uh, studies, you know, kind of bear me out on that. But I'm here to tell you, if you are extremely concerned about your high school equivalency exam math because you think you are in terrible math or you forgot all the math or you never learned it, well, listen, I'm telling you right now, you can pass, okay? But you need to know what you're up against. You need to know how to organize a good game plan so you can be successful on the math section and pass your respective HSE exam. So I'm going to give you some details on... Uh, uh, these uh, particular exams and what to expect and how to prepare. So that's the whole point of this video. Also, if you need math help with the specific course you're taking, maybe test prep or homeschooling, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. And I will say I'm going to put in my direct links uh, to my HSE test prep courses uh, in the description as well. But let's go ahead and get into this right now. And the first thing I want to uh, state is that I've been helping people, you know, uh, get their high school equivalencies for years, okay? Years and years and years. And I'm going to tell you right now, the number one thing that stops people, and it's a real, um, you know, terrible thing actually, is their own self, okay? And it's not their skills. The skill, their skills is not the problem, okay? It's their thinking, okay? In other words, it's their mental attitude, right? They think, or maybe you think, and this is not just, I'm not trying to make any judgments here because we all do this, but I'm talking about uh, the number one thing that prevents people from passing, let's say, the GET, uh, GED test or other HSE exams is their thinking, okay? Especially when it comes to math and their thinking is, I can't do this. I'm not smart enough. I've been out of school for 20 years, 30 years. There's no way I can do this. I'm overwhelmed. My life is busy you know, on and on and on. So we have to get control of our minds. And I'm not just speaking to you on the other end of this uh, video. I'm speaking to myself as well. We all do, right? Uh, you know, controlling our thinking is, you know, a very difficult thing, but it is the path forward uh, to success uh, in terms of reaching our goals, right? The first thing is we have to build that mental discipline and have a great mental attitude. That is the number one most critical thing that you need to do. So if you've been struggling, okay, with your education, or, you know, if you have a lot of fear about taking these exams, the first thing you need to do is not start learning math, okay? What you have to start doing is start changing your thinking, which is effectively, listen, no matter what, I'm going to pass this test. I'm smart enough to pass this test. I can do this. I'm gonna do what it takes to learn this math and excel on this test. Start changing your thinking patterns and start um, envisioning a bright future for yourself, okay, when it comes to being successful with math. That's the first step, okay? So before you even start, you know, uh, practicing or learning any math, you've just got to make a decision right up front that you're going to be successful and you're going to do what it's take, or you're going to do what it takes to learn math. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into some specific details. So HSC, again, we're talking about high school equivalency exams. And this is obviously for um, uh, those of you out there, uh, those people that did not finish high school for whatever reason. And please take any stigma out of that, okay? Because, uh, you know, let's suppose you, you know, you're watching this video, you're, you are uh, probably working on uh, taking or preparing an HSE, you have to um, get rid of the stigma as well. All right, that kind of goes back to our thinking. You know, if you're like, oh boy, I should have never dropped out, or you know, something happened. You look, your life happened, okay? Uh, for whatever reason, okay, you got, uh, you know, off track with your education, and it could have very well been the case. It wasn't your fault. It was some sort of external situation. But where you're at now, if you have a goal 
of getting your high school equivalency, you are a different person than what you were in, um, you know, maybe in high school. Okay, so no, do not judge yourself. Do not feel bad about your situation in terms of, you know, uh, uh, you know, just having so much regret because carrying all that emotional regret or, you know, oh my goodness, I should have done this or why did I do this? Take all that out of your your thinking. Okay, that's really going to hold you back. All right, so you can be just as successful as anyone who's you know graduated high school and college. Doesn't make a difference. Okay, so I'm telling you right now, you have what it takes. But let's go ahead and now get into HSC exams. So there's basically three HSC exams. I, there could be more than this, but these are the big three. So we have the GED, okay, which hopefully most of you are familiar with. And then there's a couple other uh, tests out there that some uh, states use. One is the high set and the other is the task. But by far, kind of the granddaddy of high school equivalency exams is the GED. Okay, so in order to get your high school equivalency, you're going to have to pass one of these exams. And uh, more often than not, it's going to be the GED. Or you might have the option to take, let's say, the high set or the GED. It all depends on what your state but by far the most popular exam is the GED. And the, G, uh, the GED stands for, uh, what's it, uh, General Equivalency uh, uh, Diploma. Uh, basically, it's the high school equivalency, but this thing has been around for like 80 years, maybe not that long, 70 years, uh, maybe, I think like in the 50s, maybe in the 40s. It's been around for a long, long time. Matter of fact, my father, okay, joined the Army when he was 17 years old and went into uh, uh, went to the Korean War, okay? And he and only had like an eighth grade education. We're talking like the 50s, early 50s, but my father was extremely intelligent, okay? <laughs> he was later tested with like a genius level IQ. So your formal education and your intelligence, there, there's not like, you know, your formal education equals your intelligence. That's absolutely not the case, I can tell you right now. I'm not uh, diminishing the importance for education, but, you know, don't judge your, your intelligence based upon your current education. But anyways, my dad, uh, later down the line, took his GED and uh, Army, and, uh, you know, that opened up opportunities for him later on. So, again... You know, do not think that, oh, you're not intelligent because you don't have your high school equivalency. Absolutely not. Uh, but again, you're going to have to prepare to pass these exams. Now, this video is going to be um, focused on the math section. Okay, so the first number one thing to pass the math section is you got to get your thinking right. You got to get all that negative thinking out of your head. You got to be focused on the goal. Okay, and I've been teaching math for decades. And, uh, you know, my little kind of secret to help students learn math is to first start with their thinking. Okay, because it doesn't make a difference what I'm teaching you. If I, I'm, I'm teaching you and you're over here and I'm, you know, instructing you in algebra or whatever like this, if you are kind of surrounded by this kind of bubble of negative negative thinking, I'm not smart enough, I can't do this, da, 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 da. it doesn't make a difference what I tell you, it's just going to bounce right off, right? You're going to be a boop, you know, it's like this little, you know, uh, you know, uh, bubble, magnetic bubble around you that's going to prevent any information coming in. I can't control this, right? I can only control the instruction coming, you know, from me to you. So my first objective when I was helping students or I continue to help students is to work on removing this bubble and telling you that you need to start believing in yourself. You can do this and changing your attitude, which basically now you're open to learning. Now all this information can actually go into your brain and you can actually start, you know, performing on tests and exams. Okay. But that's going to be up to you, right? So you might think I'm kind of hokey, and be like, oh, you know, hey, you know, just get to the point there, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Stop, you know, trying to give me all this kind of personal development stuff. Listen, that is the number one most important thing here before we start talking about algebra and geometry and the like. Okay, now, uh, once we've, you know, gone beyond our mindset, what do you uh, need uh, to know in order to pass these tests? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, effectively, the math on whether it be the task, high set, or GED is pretty much the same. Okay, so if you're like, well, I'm going to take this test because this test is easier than this test. Uh, and again, we're talking about math. There's a little bit differences in terms of, 
you know, whether you take it on a computer and this and that, but what is the math that you need to know? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, there were some major changes back in, I want to say 2013 uh, with the GED, pretty significant changes. And pretty much here's the deal. Let's take the GED, for example, because it is, it is the number one test out there when it comes to high school equivalency. You're going to need to know high school, right? If we're, if we are talking about high school equivalency. You're going to need to know a decent amount of high school uh, algebra and geometry, right? It's kind of like college prep. And, you know, it's no joke. Way back in the good old days, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, the GD did kind of have a reputation of being kind of easy to pass. And a lot of people say, oh, I just went in and took it and I passed it. That's not the case at all today, okay? And it hasn't been the case for the last uh, good number of years. You have to study in order to pass uh, the GED math sections. Or you're literally going to have to know um, high school level mathematics up to, um, you know, like first year algebra and first year geometry. Not everything, uh, not everything 100% perfectly, if you will. And when it comes to advanced mathematics, I've even seen a few proms or um, had uh, people report to me a few advanced proms. I thought, wow, you know, I was actually surprised that they were on the GED, stuff that I would thought, you know, would only be like on the SAT or ACT exams, which is our uh, college entrance exams. But yes, even a few uh, proms have been known, or at least things that I thought that were, right, you know, a little bit more advanced for the GED, they're on there. So here's the deal, right? If you're just trying to say, oh, you know, um, you know, is it going to be just basic math? You know, nope, you're going to have to know algebra and geometry. That's the deal. And to actually know this, okay, you're going to have to commit to learning it. Okay, so you're going to, again, have to check in with can you cram, right? And if you know what I mean by cramming is can you just like in one week, you know, just throw all this information, which would represent a good two years of high school level mathematics, you know, into your brain and be, uh, you know, show uh, proficiency with it on the exam. Okay, if anybody promises you that they're lying to you, if this is going to take time, okay, and you're going to have to uh, do some work priority uh, before you get into algebra and geometry with like middle school math. So don't try to cram. What you need is time, okay? You need commitment, you need uh, discipline, you need persistence. You got to get on a regular kind of game plan to um, uh, study plan to build up your math skills. But at the end of that process, okay, uh, you can build your skills up from like middle school math, algebra, uh, and geometry to be fully ready to ace the GED. But beyond that, okay, all right, beyond the GED or high set task, once you have your high school equivalency, all right, what's next? Well, a lot of you are looking to go to college, okay? So that's one of the, I think, uh, good changes for the GED, for example, is, um, you know, getting you ready, all right? So you can have a strong math foundation so you can go into or have as an option to, you know, uh, college, okay, or technical school, whatever the case might be. It's going to, you know, it's going to serve you well, all right? So look at this as an investment in yourself. If you're saying, oh, this is a waste of time, no, nothing's a waste of time when you're investing in your own self and your math skills will last you a, a, a lifetime, okay? So let's talk about how to do this. Well, there's all sorts of different things out there. You can buy um, books on, you know, uh, Amazon, you know, how to pass a GED or GED practice test and whatnot, high set task. All those, those books are actually pretty good because there are some practice exams in there, but that's not the number one way to learn math, okay? What you want to do is find yourself an actual teacher, okay? A math teacher. And there are adult education courses you can take. You can actually enroll in them, classroom education, so you can raise your hand, ask questions, you know, or you can find a tutor, or you can use a program like my uh, program, okay? So uh, my courses, my test prep course has been out for uh, several years here. I've had a lot of people go through them successfully, right? full comprehensive instruction from an actual math teacher. And that's the number one thing that I'm going to tell you to get. You need to kind of go back to school and who uh, is teaching you, uh, you know, matters, right? So here's a book. Who's teaching you, you know, 
from this book. Well, no one's teaching you, right? You just don't go to uh, school and you sit down and, you know, they pass out books and that's the end of it, right? There's a teacher that's actually explaining what's in that book, okay? Now, I'm going to suggest that you either enroll in adult education math course, okay? Find yourself a teacher that way or, you know, look at an online program uh, where there's video instruction that has, you know, full, complete math in, uh, instruction done by a quote unquote professional teacher. So you could take a look at my program. There's other programs out there, but these are going to be far the best way. So if you get yourself into a good program of study, okay, give yourself enough time to learn this material, okay, have a great positive mental attitude, okay, where in other words, you have taken off that barrier of negative thinking around you. By the way, uh, we all have that, okay? We all have that in some form about something, right? It could be maybe our current uh, current health status, right? Maybe we want to get in shape. You're like, oh, I got to stop eating junk food. I got to start working out more, more. You know, we all have, you know, things that we you know, tend to think negatively about. So, you know, for some of you out there that struggle with math, that might be your thing. With me, it might be something else, okay? We're only human, but we have to check in on our thoughts, right? Because oftentimes it's our thinking that is preventing us from, you know, uh, allowing the solutions to come in, okay? So start with your thinking, and I'm telling you right now, 100%, absolutely, you can pass, but it's up to you, right? No one's going to do the work for you. You have to uh, kind of own it but you'll own the success as well, all right? So again, I'm gonna leave a link to my uh, GED, um, High Set and Task uh, math prep courses in the description of this video, but hopefully this video helped you out, okay? If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.